Well, hello everyone, I'm Peaches from Lovers with Healthy Life and I would like to welcome you to my channel. Now today I'm going to do a quick five minute video to give you an update on what I've been working on in my garden. Now I've cleaned up a few beds in my garden already. I've also planted my raised bed slash greenhouse. Um, I've already planted some potatoes but I have more potatoes to plant. I've got my onions planted and, and I have a lot more weeding to do. I haven't been able to stay out in my garden for longer than a couple of hours due to the pollen this season. And I have a ton of more things to do in my garden. So come along with me and let's have some fun. Hello everyone, I am going to do a quick 60 second update um, of what I'm planting out here. I've already planted my raised bed garden. And let's see, we have onions growing. And right here, I believe these are white onions. Then I planted some uh, dwarf uh, pak choy also some lettuce spinach over here I have cabbage and then I recently planted some more lettuce and Swiss chard and I believe over here are my red onions then I have my spearmint that's growing in right here and I think I recently added some strawberry seeds hopefully we'll see what happens with the strawberry seeds and over in this planter I planted some marigolds and some zinnias Hopefully that will bloom for me soon. And right here is my dwarf lemon tree that I was growing indoors that I just bought outside. And also I have some of my eggplants I brought outside to continue growing and some more Swiss chard in there. And this was the first circle raised bed that I planted out the seeds a little early. So hopefully everything um, will germinate. I do see some tiny germination on the seeds right there and this is a turnip green from last season and we've been actually eating the turnip uh, leaves they taste pretty good and this is my update on my pepper plant that I showed you in the previous video that I had cut all the way back and now it's so pretty and luscious and green so we'll be enjoying some nice peppermint tea and also will be good in some water with lemon lemon water tastes really good as ice lemon water in the summertime I also planted some zinnias and marigold seeds in here then down here I have some more spearmint growing and goji berries from last season that I had indoors but I brought them out here to get some sunlight so hopefully it'll do a little bit better and also a dwarf banana tree and I wanted to give you an update on my grapevine. This is my grapevine from last year. I wasn't sure if it survived the winter, but it looks like it's blooming and hopefully we'll get some grapes soon. And this particular grapevine is my grape uh, table wine. This is a musca muscadine grape. So hopefully this will have sweeter grapes than they did last year. Last year they were kind of sour. This is my fig tree that's starting to get its uh, leaves. So I'm happy about that. Maybe this year I'll get some figs. And this is my red sorrel that is doing really well. Um, I got this idea from Patrick from One Yard Revolution and he does a lot of perennial gardening. So I decided to go ahead and get me more perennials. I wanted to add more perennials in my garden as well. So it's doing really well. And this is red sorrel. And it has a really cool flavor. It goes well with fish. And um, so I'm looking forward to harvesting some of this this year. And this is my newest grapevine that I just planted that I talked about in my previous video. And this is my Chinese red mustard. And we are really loving this uh, vegetable. It's really delicious. Um, it, it tastes great in sandwiches. Gives it a little pop of a flavor. And it also is good in stir fry. I really love this Chinese red mustard and it's so beautiful. And then I have some dinosaur kale growing in between. In various places so it's doing really well so I'm gonna be harvesting some of this uh, today and I think this is the biggest leaf I've seen Wow well that's all for now guys sorry about all the noise but my husband's trying to get the grass cut because it looks like we have some storm clouds coming in so yeah so I hope everyone is busy gardening and as always, happy gardening and God bless.